Hey everybody, it looks into swirl. No cup project today. We are going to do resin with glitter in molds. This is basically the follow-up to the unboxing I did a little while ago. I'll link to that video below if you didn't see it. It was two months of Fran's Glitter and More uh, glitter subscription box, the monthly box, and it was June and July. And it was also the quarterly Fran Addict designer box. And in all of those three boxes combined, when we, when we did the unboxing, there were 16 glitters. Now I've already used one of them in a different video. I used this gorgeous ultramarine Grace Bay in a different video, and I will link to that video below if you haven't seen what I did with that. That was a beautiful cup I made. And now I wanna use the rest of the glitters, so 15 of them. And here we have the molds from the Fran Attic box. These are four coaster molds and a mold of the US. And uh, each one takes three ounces of resin. So doing some math, which I admit is not really easy for me anymore, we have approximately, <laughs> actually we have exactly three ounces, therefore three glitters for each cavity. For the US, I'm going to go traditional. We have a, the closest I could find a red from this group. So we have Ms. Frizzle Fine, Salty K is our white, and Dolphin Tails Fine is our blue. And we have, um, so up here, uh, we have for this mold here, I'm gonna do, this. there is no rhyme or reason, except I tried to keep all the very similar blues separated so they wouldn't all blend together. So up here, we're gonna do Turks, and Burt Sienna Chunky, and Sandals, which is a champagne gold. In here, we're gonna do Diamonds Chunky, Myrtle, and Nightlife. Down here, we'll do Provo, Myrtle Chunky, and Woody Chunky. And then at the bottom here, we'll do Kihei, no, Ki, Kihei, I think. So I, I, boy, I'm guessing again. We're gonna do this beautiful blue, <laughs> Sapphire Chunky, and Burnt Sienna Fine. So I'm gonna mix up 450 milliliters of resin. That is uh, an easy to divide by three number, thankfully. Again, math, yeah. So I'll be using my ClearCast 7050 resin. That is two parts of A to one part of B. So I'm gonna put in 300 milliliters of part A and 150 milliliters of part B. Stir it up, separate it into Heaven help me, 15 different cups. I'll stir each of the glitters into its own cup. And then I'm gonna pour. And I'm probably not gonna do a fancy pour or anything like that. So we'll do red, white, and blue. And we'll turn them out and we'll see how each of these glitters looks in resin. That's really the goal here. Plus, you know, I have some coasters. I'm gonna gear up, fast mo through this, because it's mostly gonna be mixing and then pouring, and then we'll demold. So sit back and enjoy the show.
And we're back. All right. Let's see how our coasters all turned out and the Franz glitter looks. Ooh. Looks like some of them, it's, uh, most of them actually, have stayed pretty much exactly where I wanted them. This one I had a little trouble with, but you know, I'm sure it'll be beautiful. So, and I ended up with a lot of extra because I had enough resin and then I put a, you know, crap ton of glitter into all of it and that increased the volume by far. I could have mixed up a lot less resin, but get some, uh, some fun extras out of it too. So let's start with our USA. Look at our gorgeous country. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Red, white, and blue. That is stunning. I love the hollow effect of this one. I love the rainbow in this one. And I, I just love the blue and the green in this one because I always do. <laughs> that is really beautiful. That makes me very happy. Don't know necessarily what I'll do with it. I could put it on a plaque of some sort. That would be very, very nice. Uh, all right. Let's see. Go around the um, mold here and do one at a time. Here is our first one. Ooh. I'm going to say ooh for all of them. You know, it's, it's glitter. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Um, this is very pretty. I love the uh, gold, the extra gold flake flex in this one. And uh, this is, I believe this is the Sapphire Chunky, I think. And that's gorgeous as well. Uh, the Chunky sort of takes over, but it's what Chunkies do. I mean, both sides actually. Uh, but it's very nice. I mean, it's a navy blue is a gorgeous color. So, all right, next up. Oh, look at that. That is really, oopsie. <laughs> That's right. I remember I got a little drop of the sand or sandals there and thought I'd just, you know, cover it up, which works great looking at it from here. Obviously didn't do that here, but th this is just, this looks like fire. Isn't that gorgeous? The flames. I love how that looks. Really beautiful. Okay. Next up we have our Diamond Chunky, which looks to have taken over pretty much everything down to, <laughs> down to the bottom. Let's see how the other side, oh, not so much on the other side. So this floated a lot back here, but not, it stayed put up here. That's beautiful. That is really, again, turquoise. I think this is Turks. Uh, yeah, and I'm not as huge a fan of reds, but it, it's a beautiful glitter. No doubt about it. All right. And our last coaster. Oh, look at the gold and the different blues in that. Wow. And I forget what this one is. And then this one is a turquoise. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I should have had these all lined up. Through the miracle of editing, I will now get all the glitters out and put them where they were. And we're back. Okay, so my red, white, and blue was, and this is more for my memory than yours because you just watched the first part. It's been days for me. <laughs> Ms. Frizzle Fine, Salt K, and Dolphin Tails Fine. That was our red, white, and blue for that over here. Uh, Sapphire Chunky, Kihei, maybe, is that pretty blue, and Burnt Sienna Fine. Up here, the flames are Burnt Sienna Chunky, Turks, and as I suspected, Sandals. That's beautiful. And then here in the corner, we have Myrtle Chunky, Woody Chunky, is the middle part, and Provo is the blue with the gold in it. And down here we have the Diamonds Chunky on top, Myrtle, plain Myrtle, not Myrtle Chunky, and uh, Nightlife is the bottom layer. So there you have it. 
Those are gorgeous. I think they're all stunning. They don't necessarily match, but they show us what all of these beautiful glitters look like in resin, and they're all gorgeous. I mean, let's face it, they're all gorgeous. That's not the best display, but I think you can see everything. So we'll do one, one last look here. And now, wow, my voice. And now we'll attempt to unmold these. I may end up crying uncle on this one. These unicorns are really hard to get out. And if that's the case, I may have to go get some soapy water. Uh, I will start with this one. This is a trinket dish in the form of a conch shell, I believe, or conch shell, depending on who you ask. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I think this has some of just about everything in it. That is really stunning. I, I cannot wait to put that on my nightstand and use that to hold my one ring. <laughs> uh, so there's that. And then, and then we have the unicorn, which can be very, very um, challenging. So I'm gonna, you know, fast mow this because it's gonna take me a while and you can just laugh at my suffering while I refuse to succumb to going and getting soapy water. Yay! There's another little unicorn. Oh, isn't he cute? And he's got he's got a bunch of them in there, not all of them. I I used all of them in this one, I think. And this had some to start with up here in the head area and the horn, the magic unicorn horn. Oh, he's adorable. All right. So there was a just a, you know, beyond crap ton of glitter involved in this project. And I think everything turned out beautiful. Even if these aren't things I could sell, that's okay. I, I will enjoy using them myself. I will put, I'm not gonna bother doming the back. I'm just going to maybe sand the edges a little bit and then put a flat piece of um, adhesive cork on the back of each one. It will look stunning on my coffee table. This one, not sure. This one I may use in a future project. So you may see this, this baby again. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of this anyway. Uh, if you've gotten any of these glitters from Franz, let me know what you did with them and how you chose to use them. I would love to hear. Uh, just go ahead and mention that down in the comment section. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Stay safe. I will see you in the next video.